We're in Columbus, Ohio, where there are over 105,000 fans getting ready to see the starters win. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He throws it. Intercepted. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 34. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. First and 10. Ball on the 34. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Thomas picks up seven yards with that catch. They come out on an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling. Decides to keep it, and he's got a chance here. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Touchdown, Bucks! And he adds the extra point. A short three-play, 33-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ohio State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far. Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. Johnson, the intended receiver on the play. First down. release tight end incomplete the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion from their own 37 yard line second down tackle around the 38 yard line This crowd is going absolutely crazy. Fire quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. They're going to have to be more successful throwing the football. You can't gain solid yardage if the defense isn't concerned about the passing game. They're going to end up crowding the line of scrimmage, expecting a run on every down. Hall is back deep to return the punt. And he's tackled at the 30. Based on what I saw in the last series, this defensive coordinator better make some adjustments in a hurry. His defensive line got manhandled. Right now, he's got to think about trying to attack the line of scrimmage by maybe blitzing the linebackers or the safety. Tackled for a loss. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. 
From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Ohio State up seven points. Nice run there as they work the outside. Hyde picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball in the misdirection. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Taken down at the 47. Slings it. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here's the give. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Ohio State is up a score. He's on the run. The five. Touchdown, Ohio State. That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. Yeah, he has a lot of freedom to make plays like that, and he can do it because of his athletic ability. The coaches recognize that, and it's proven to be successful. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 14-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant the first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. into this place. He's going to air it long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. O'Donnell is the putter. Hall fields it at the 35. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Ohio State's not taking anything for granted. They were supposed to do this, and so far they are doing what they expected to do. Yeah, they've done a really nice job of just taking care of business. The offense is clicking. Quarterback's making good decisions. The defense has been very impressive as well. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's at the 40. 
He's at the 30. He finally goes down at the 27. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. And he's tackled at the 17. Tackle around the 16 yard line. Yeah, Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. Second and nine. From the 16 yard line. Second down. He's hit and taken down. Throw incomplete, one of his receivers. They're at the six. It's second down. The Buckeyes running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Brought down at about the five yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it third and goal. Tackle made around the five-yard line. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. That brings up fourth and this goal. one should be makeable. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buckeyes really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Throws. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. Complete, and he's out of bounds. That's a game of 13 on the play. First down. Two times, two times. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 38. Mike five. Let's go. Check, check. Box two. Box two. Box two. Box two. Box two. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. He fires. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. Johnson was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up second and nine. Tight end right. Tight end right. Pull down, pull down. Ties the mic. Fires the mic. Fires quick. He's got another one. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. For a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. And this play is number eight on the drive. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. 
Check four, check four. High five, high five. Run, 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 run. They'll run it. And he's level at the 24. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Tackle around the one yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. And they hook up on the short pass play for the touchdown. Nice call down here, this close to the goal line. The defense is thinking run, and they pass instead. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. Ohio State's taking no prisoners in this game so far, Herbie. Well, they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays that eventually have led to those touchdowns. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Makes it to the 31. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. Makes it out to about the 40. Makes it to the 41. Just throws this one away. From the 41 yard line, second down. Check 59, Mike, Mike is 59, Mike is 59. Yeah, no way, no way, no way. Runs left and quickly taken down. Quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Johnson picks up five with the carry. So at the end of one, the Buckeyes lead 17-7.
Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. He's scrambling. Slides down. You can't design these kind of plays. You really can't, Brad. That was just great instincts to know where the sticks were. the tailback and they hit him in the backfield second down 10 yards to go ball on their own 24 fires quickly and he's got his man and he's taken down at the 36 yard line First down. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. My five, my five. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he shoved out of bounds at the 38. This is the eighth play of this drive. That'll bring up 30. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Watch 23. Watch 23. Watch 23. Watch 98. Throws it to the half back on the screen. He's out of bounds around the 39 yard line. The Hurricanes had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. O'Donnell awaits the snap. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 30. Return for a gain of 14 yards. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's taken down at the 41. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 41. Around the 50-yard line. Hands brings him down at the 50-yard line. That'll make it 31. Watch seven. Watch seven. Let's make these babies cry. Yeah. Yeah. Kill, 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 kill. Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled at the 42. Got it with room to run. He's pushed out of bounds around the 35 yard line. That'll make it second and four. He makes his way out to about the 25. Complete, he's hit right away. That'll make it second and four. They'll drop him for a loss. 
Loss of two on the play. Third and six. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Spencer, the intended receiver on the play. It's fourth down. It so the kicking six. team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Mike five, Mike five. Let's go. Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. And he's tackled after positive yardage. How about that run? Old-fashioned football, definitely. Just give it to the fullback and let him grind it out for the first down. Mark Barr! Mark Barr! Yeah, let's go sack lunch. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 39. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go. And he throws right away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down again. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Scrambled. And they get the sack. Loss of one on the play. That brings up third and ten. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Right here, right here. Kill, kill. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. 
Brought down at the 19. That brings up fourth and 11. Elder awaiting the return. Makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Returns for a gain of 12 yards. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 41-yard line. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Pass is tipped away. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Over the middle to his tailback. He's tackled at the 44. A seven-yard pickup on the screenplay. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Third down. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 46. And they push him out at the 41 yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it fourth and inches. Johnston is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Didn't get all of that one. 19-yard punt. Out of bounds at the 22-yard line. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. That's a gain of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. He gets sacked on the play. The Hurricanes will use their first time out of the half. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle around the 30-yard line. Miami's going to have to use their second time out of the half. 
So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Going for it all to the end zone. No, incomplete. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. From the 15-yard line, second down. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. He gets it up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Oh, fields at the goal line. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. The Buckeyes are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. We've played a half of football here. The Buckeyes with a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse-type athletes. A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. In, in defensive backs, the ones that we like the best are the ones that can play on an island and play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm, and you see quarterbacks all the time in seven-on-sevens and all summer getting with their wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing. And, if you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing. And doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far the first half. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Gets out to around the 32. Run left side. He's at midfield, and he's level at the 45-yard line. Here's the 
throw it. I don't think he got anything on that. Howard makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. He makes it to the 42-yard line. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. He lets it fly. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. run up the middle. Hyde gains about four yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. Shows some moves and he's in. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight play, 86 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. The Buckeyes wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Ohio State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. High five. Here he goes. Runs outside for a nice game. Gain of four yards. First down. After a decent run up the gut. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike five, Mike five. Let's go. Check, check. Thunder. Thunder. Here we go. Check in motion. Put hot. Check hot. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of six yards. First down. Quick throw. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. It's second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. quickly to the tailback and down he goes around the 43 yard line O'Donnell is set back ready to punt he'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner Touchdown. 
Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, call a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And he hits him hard at the 37. complete he's got space to work and he's tackled around the 44 yard line and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line that's good for a gain of three yards that'll bring up third and inches Fights forward to about the 49. Hands it off. He gets to about the 41 yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at about the 25-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Made at the 17. Call the game of eight yards. Check, check, check. That makes check, it second check, check. and two. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And he carries the ball for a nice game. the middle for a nice game. Good for a gain of six yards. That brings up second and goal. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 81-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 34-10. Sends it sailing downfield. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 34. Game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. My five, my five. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 42. That's a gain of eight on the play. First down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 48-yard line, first down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Gain of seven yards. 
That'll bring up second and three. immediately tackled. Oh, Bryant brings him down oh. at the 35-yard line. That From the 35-yard line. First down. Mike five. Mike five. Fires incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Fires the mic. Fires the mic. Check 82. Watch 82. Ball coming in. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. Williams makes the tackle at the 28-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Well, that's a big-time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number 10 on the tackle. This is the 10th play of this drive. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 16-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. The 10, tackle right around the 10-yard line. Third down. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. Touchdown, Canes! This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. So the offense is going to go for two. Now he's scrambling. They don't get it. So a 12-play, 69-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. So our score, 34-16. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Ohio State's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into a position and being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. And he's taken down at the 32. We played three, and this one's pretty much gone as expected. 34-16, Buckeye. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Pitch is back. Nice run there. That's good to First down. They go 
of the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Zips it to the back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Drop back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it third and 11. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 38. coming and the ball is loose. Defense says they've got it, and they do. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. They work hard and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. He's out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. That brings up second and five. From the 23-yard line, second down. Looking for his man, incomplete. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Get him in the backfield. He makes it to the nine. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That makes it third. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Listen to this place. And they get the sack. Boy, these kind of plays result in a lot of confidence from this defense and the defensive coordinator. I will not be surprised to see this defense continue to bring this kind of pressure against this offense. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up. And it's off the upright. No good. Anybody who tells you that football isn't a game of inches might want to have a talk with this kicker. It doesn't get any closer than that. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Oh, takes the give. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Got some open field. Gains his way to midfield. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and six. Check 
Strike to his receiver. No good. Smith is the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Just throws this one away. Looked like both sides tried to get away with some shoving while the ball was in the air. Here's the call. That penalty is declined. Try to change the field position with this kick. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. And down he goes at the 29. Barnett with the tackle at the 29-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 29. He gets rid of this one. He zips one over to the right. The junior makes the catch. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. That makes it first and ten. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 10 yard line. It's first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. This is the ninth play of this drive. Throws it away. They're about four yards away here on third down. They can't hear a thing down there. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. complete, but he's going to come up short. 
The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And they get nice yardage on that run. rid of this one great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now i think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down and he's tackled after positive yardage first down just under three to go in regulation He's tackled at the 16-yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the goal. That brings up second and 13. From their own 16-yard line, second down. He takes it right side for a good game. Game seven on the play. Four-yard line. For a gain of one yard. Fourth down. Elder back to return it. Effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Johnson comes away with about two yards on a little draw play. They sent the middle linebacker here on a blitz, and he was pretty much untouched getting in there to make the stop. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. The Hurricanes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle, eagle. Ready. Spikes the ball. That'll bring up third and four. Morris off the fake gets it out in a hurry nice catch first down and he's knocked out the Buckeyes know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level well that'll definitely be in his future but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and and really the play caller the quarterback the offensive line the receivers the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance 
That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.